Hello my beautiful frogs, welcome back to some more Dark Souls for the PC. Last episode we explored the uh, painting, or the painted world of Artemis I think it was called. And uh, we killed Crossbreed Priscilla, so we got 2 plus sin I believe. You get for killing her. But uh, not that I care because, like I said last episode at the end, I plan on killing about pretty much everything, so... At least when it comes to bosses. So, you know, there, there's that. Oh, really? You survived? Okay, wow. Well, tank, two hits. Yes, to end up dying. Well, not me, but, you know, the, the enemy, I mean. You got the throwing knives. Which is not too shabby. Down you go. Down you go. <laughs> Down you go almost sounds like Hugo. Funny. Okay, more souls. Which means more throwing knives. Which is quite good, actually. Got 65,000 souls. Uh, anyhow, I've... Well... I think I know where the uh, area which... We're supposed to go to lies now. I could be wrong, but it should be down here. Maybe. Can I turn this and get further down, I wonder? Let's try that, to be honest. Okay, contraption does not move. Fair enough. But yeah, seriously, can't I get deeper down here? Maybe I cannot. Hmm. At the bottom of the mechanical turning staircase, when at the lowest level, which is not right now. Or is it at the lowest level? Let's push the level again. See if it can. Okay, it does go lower. Alrighty then. Okay, so it connects to that one again. Which also means I can go deeper down now, okay. So I've never really been down here. More than like once, I think. Unless I push the lever right off the bat. Which I think I actually did. Cause I'm yeah, I've never been here actually. So yeah, here's a bonfire again. That we're gonna use. Okay, we're gonna use another humanity. Because we've got like 27 of them. Then I'm gonna reverse hollowing. Okay, humanity's been restored. And we're gonna kindle it. There we go. So yeah, I actually missed this bonfire. That's kind of silly in a way. But it is what it is. Apparently you can teleport to it. According to uh, the, you know, the, the wiki. That I'm using to find the last remaining things in the game. And the reason why I'm using it is to speed up time, basically. Okay, so let's use the... Um, homeward bone, yes. That sh yeah, should get me back down here. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. Okay, so we need to change equipment. Let's take away this and let's equip the uh, Dark Moon Seas Ring. 
There we go, that makes the statue disappear. So, we can find another covenant here. Halt! This is the tomb of the great Lord Gwyn. Tarnished it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the Dark Sun, cast aside thine eye. Hear the voice of mine self, Gwyndolin, and kneel before me. O oh, disciple of the Dark Sun, thou hast journeyed far. Hear my voice. If thou shalt swear by the covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords, then I shall protect thee, safeguarding thy person with the power of the Dark Moon. Very well. There we go. We shall not need speech. Exit here and follow thine own design. So yeah, you basically only really get one chance to join the Covenant if... Unless you do, you know, if... Unless you leave this area, but... We're gonna traverse the light. Because we have a boss fight inside. What foolishness. Why trespasseth upon the great lord's tomb, whilst thou art a disciple of the dark sun? Mark the words of mine self, Gwyndolin. Thou shalt not go unpunished. Yeah, but the plan was kind of to kill you, dark sun Gwyndolin. So yeah, he says sister Gwendolyn, but in reality it's a guy. That shoots magic towards you. I should have used my souls when I look at it. 65,000 souls. Not good. And I want my souls back. I'm just gonna throw that one out there. Okay, so let's enter again. We don't need to see the cutscene though. Maybe I did this wrong. Okay, the arrows are easy to avoid at the least. Magic, not so difficult either. Okay, I managed to get two hits in. So yeah, that this is basically the boss fight. Just run towards her or him. Avoid the arrows, but more specifically the magic. And then try and get one or two hits in as you get close. Very easy boss fight, honestly. Especially if you have the... Oh, hello. Maybe I'll take that back. Okay, you continue to shoot arrows. Good. One and two and one more hit. Okay, it's gonna be that huge blast. Yep, it went straight through. Okay, the smaller shots. I think those were the more dangerous ones, to be honest. That's probably her or his most dangerous attack. Not counting the huge blue blast. Yeah, I can easily take that. There we go. Swathed in dark, an eternal curse upon thee. There we go. Uh, okay, now yeah, now the forget is bare. So we can't join the covenant now, as far as I know. 
And, you know, Gwendolyn used his magic on this area. So, um... Well, this is the tomb of uh, Lord Gwyn, even though he's not technically dead. Uh, okay. Was this chest really empty? Sunlight blade, okay. Brass helm and leggings. Alrighty then. Yeah, so that trash chest there was empty. Alright. But uh, we have plenty of souls now, which is good. Very good indeed. And since I don't really plan on entering An Orlando ever again, there's one final thing I have to do here. So yeah, as you can see now we can't enter the Covenant because, well, Gwendolyn needs to be alive for us to do so. Okay, gonna level up. I could get more stamina to be honest. Maybe I should increase my weapon attack instead. Make it a little bit stronger. Vitality, perhaps. Yeah, let's go with some more health while we're at it. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna warp. Chamber of the Princess. A small little chat with her. There we go. For the record, she's just an illusion, and she's the illusion that causes the sunlight in An Orlando. We're about to see what An Orlando truly looks like. It's actually causing twilight. And now everyone hates us in An Orlando. Even the. Um, the gatekeeper. And with the gatekeeper, I mean the. Um... As you can see, it looks very dark this area now. Yeah, with the gatekeeper, I mean. Um... Oh, I can go back here. Nice. With the gatekeeper, I mean the. Um, the Firelink person. Anyhow, we're gonna teleport into Stone Dragon. Oh, it's that guy, okay. Let's see, Sunlight Altar is not the right one, and Orlando is not the right one. The Depths is Undead Parish, there we go. Because all we really have left in the game now is, well, the final boss and the DLC. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and tackle the DLC next. Well, I've never heard of a black ember. Hmm. How about my fight? Yes. Yeah, let's give that to you. Can I modify my weapon? I cannot. Why not? Okay, reinforced weapon. 
Ah, <laughs> the bone wheel seal, nice. Um, okay, so I can make this even stronger, apparently. Hundred ninety-two. Can get it up to two hundred. How much is my weapon right now? I don't think I can upgrade it further, though. Oh, I need titanite shards. Okay. Oh, I forgot to check what it was actually capable of taking in uh, in damage. Let's buy a couple of those. Wait, could I reinforce it again? Huh, okay, weird. Uh, let's see... Where is my... Where is my um, bows? And all that. There we go. Gonna reinforce it a bit to make it stronger, after all. Stronger still. There we go. Now purchase items. I'm gonna buy a couple of heavy bolts. Maybe not a hundred of them, but let's buy 80 of them. There we go. And we're gonna head for the Hydra. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna spare you on the running time there. So I'll see you over at the cave. Where we encounter the Hydra. So, you know, see you there, see you soon. Okay, I'm back at the underwater cave. And I'm about to enter it. There should be a portal here now that I've killed the, the two golems and gotten the ring. Yeah, there we go, there it is. And that's the portal we're gonna enter in the next episode. I'm just gonna approach it as of now. But we're not gonna enter it. Didn't exactly look the way I pictured it. I pictured it more looking like the portals from Metro Prime 2 Corruption. But that was simply not the case. So yeah, that's the portal that we're going to enter in the next episode. But for now, if you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls, consider becoming part of the Frog Squad by subscribing today if you aren't already. And if you want to help me and channel grow even further, you can do one of the following three. You can A, like this video. B, share your thoughts, please, and comment down below. Or C, share this video with someone you know. With that said, this has been Epigro saying, thank you very much for watching, it's the Frogger one, and I hope to see you next time. See you then.